Hello, it's Friday and I've just figured out that even though I wasn't very happy about the boy starting school midweek and thought it was a bit silly, it's actually good for something. It means that when you start going back to work and school, your week is much shorter and there's less time to wait until the weekend, which is quite nice. So now that it's Friday, I'm actually enjoying it. I've just been on the hunt for this, all those stuff, which were in the box of my previous dollhouse project thingy. Uh, while this was exporting, this is the vlog, or the last vlog, most basically. It's done, and Aiko is. Aiko, you're getting too big and you're not really fitting in there anymore. Um, so, this is now done. I'm going to put it up online. Uh, I want to start doing this, which is what James got me, and I have another one that I've started before we left that James's parents got me. Where is it? Here. It's uh, this one. I don't want to find a picture. There's all the pictures of the different models you can get. The one I have is this one, if it would focus. <coughs> Forest Dream Islands. And it's in a glass bubble that you can hang. Don't know where I will hang it. Because this little guy, well, this little girl over here, which is blurring right now, hello! This little echo likes to jump at things that are hanging. Don't you? And she already removed the bottom thing of my mobile there and oh and James's. So and this is glass, so we don't want that to be destroyed. So I don't know yet where it will go. Anyway, I'm gonna start this, but uh, there was no glue or tools in it, but I already had most of the stuff. I need more glue though because this is not much left. Uh, so I need to go to Tesco's after. So what I will do is that after I pick actually up in school, I'll go to Tesco's to make sure I have the last things I need for that so that I can get started. This weekend um, it's going to be a uh, at home weekend mostly, although Owen and I are going to go to the cinema to see Mary Poppins Returns. So I think this afternoon after school we're going to watch Mary Poppins just to... Like, I know it all by heart, but Owen hasn't seen it in a few years, so it might refresh him and might get some of the references, if there are any. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that movie, because I love Mary Poppins so much, and I love Julie Andrews so much. I don't know how to feel, but I like Emily Blunt, so hopefully it's really good. Um, what was I going to say? Then, what, oh, like, Owen has dance class tomorrow, and what I want to do is sort through the boys room in like they have a lot of toys they don't play with and they got a lot of toys that we don't have room for so we're gonna get some of the old stuff either up on the facebook market marketplace or donate them and we will make room for the new toys and owen got quite a few board games that we haven't had a chance to play yet so we'll do that james and i have board games we haven't got a chance to play yet so it's just going to be one of those weekends where usually what we would do the few days after christmas like the quiet days at home playing board games and all that we're going to do that this weekend because we didn't get a chance to do it and uh, i'm very excited about that prospect i still need to sort on my front wheel as well um I cannot find the number for that place, but I found another place um, near us that will do repairs for tires. So I'm going to give them a call now to find out if they are open tomorrow. If not, I will just have to go today because I need to start driving more uh, next week and I want to get started. I mean, it's not like an, I can still drive the car, like it's just it gets lower, the tire gets lower, but I can refill it if I need to. It's not, you know, it's a very slow puncture it's not well or leak somewhere i don't know if the valve is faulty something something is not right i don't know what it is uh but it needs to be taken care of so i'm going to sort that out now i'm getting back to the normal routine which i really needed uh because it keeps me sane <laughs> and um i'm looking forward to a very quiet cozy self-care weekend it's the next day and I am making my little dollhouse and I've just oh, made yeah. some yeah. little pillows, yeah. tiny pillows like this. I've made three other ones and I left them on this desk. I was showing Alfie. Oh. Then he called me in the other room and they were gone. So I don't know if Alfie put them somewhere or if Echo stole them, but they are tiny, tiny, tiny. And they have just vanished. 
and it's annoying me because I don't have enough fabric to make them again with the same thing. Now I could take some of my own fabric to do it. But I've just spent ages making three tiny pillows and they vanished. I do not get it. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I've made so far. So, so far we have... Rainbow. Alfie, the rainbow doesn't work. Alfie is trying to do something on James's computer, which is not working. So I have a tiny chair, a table. I'll try to focus. With the other chair, a kitchen worktop. I'm missing a piece of... Um, wire for the sink it's telling me to use a gold one and i didn't have enough of that one so i'm going to do the rest and then i'll see what i have left and work something out a coffee table with a magazine you can actually turn the pages of the magazine and i'm in the process of making pillows so these are for the bed i think but see there i made those three already and they've gone and in here i have little bits of things i've already made that like there is a little shelf where we go in the kitchen and all that, but I'll make that after. I'll put them on other things after, I mean. So yeah, Alfie is here trying to play this. Well, trying to type on James's computer. When and James are away to get a big shower. <laughs> Dance class. Um, and Alfie is with me, he wanted to go too, but it's just easier for today that I don't have to work to keep him here. Uh, Echo <coughs> is being a little bully today and trying to attack everyone. And we finally figured out what was wrong with the wheel of my car and it only cost us £7 to fix, basically. Uh, so just a little bit of backstory, I can't remember how much I explained from this. Uh, in July end of july we realized my tires at the front were going down very slowly but you know they were just going down so we assumed there was a slow puncture we went to the tire place we go usually to buy new tires and i was gonna ask for them to be repaired thinking it's not that bad and they didn't really listen to me they just told me no your tires are unevenly worn out worn out so they need to be changed and your wheels realigned that did need to be done but this was not the initial issue I went for. They didn't even look if there was a puncture or anything. So they didn't even try to understand the source of the issue. And I felt a bit frustrated at the time because I kind of felt like there was something, like what they were telling me was true, okay, it needs to be done. But I felt like it wasn't really the solution. And then because I was saying that there could be a slow puncture because of the uneven worn out and all that, I thought, okay, fair enough. For my passenger side front wheel, that's probably was the case. But for my side of the wheel, it just was not ever keeping the full amount of air inside. And then when we took the car back, coming back from the airport there, we had filled it in a few days before and now it did sit in the airport car park for um, two weeks. So, I mean, it did have to do some pressure on it and all that, but it was very, very low when we took it. Luckily, I have a pump thing to that I can plug into the um, cigarette thing for my car. And then we, we pumped it enough to get to the nearest petrol station to pump it fully there. And that, that did the trick. But then again, pumped it fully and it started to go down again. So I went to a place which doesn't actually sell brand new tires. They do tire repairs and they sell secondhand tires. And I always try to rescue tires instead of replacing them. Uh, because I knew they were going to tr not try and hard sell something to me and all that. Um, we phoned it this morning and what they did, that, they did what I wanted the last people to do was to dip the wheel. Especially there because it's only a few months old. There's no chance I'm buying a spare. Like it costed me the last time. I think between the alignment and the front wheels it cost me something like £130 or something like that. Now they are expensive tires and I have a big car so I need big tires and all that but still it was a lot of money and there's no chance this would last only a few months and I didn't want to go back to that place because I really felt like they were just trying to sell tires to people without looking for anything. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble too long. Bottom line is the rim of the wheel was had a tiny tiny gap between the wheel between the rim and the tire which was 
letting slowly letting a bit of air out when we were driving which is what was happening and what I thought was happening the last time either that or the valve so this morning they checked everything and the air was coming out of there they just dipped the wheel and see where the bubbles came from and so they kind of reshaped the rim a little bit there probably was a little dent or something so they reshaped that and they put the thing back on and it only cost seven pounds and I'm back on the road again and I can stop stressing about this I'm going to test it the next few days you know just in case it wasn't fully fixed but for now anyway it's fixed only cost it seven pounds last time I went to get that fixed it costed me 140 odd pounds so that's much better pillows were found it was Alfie good morning it's Monday the 7th of January it's quarter to nine and I am feeling exhausted. I went to bed far too late last night. I mean, still in the habit of going to bed late from being in France and I need to get back to a normal bedtime. Because I can't go to bed in the evenings, but then I'm struggling every single morning at the moment. I am going to show you my finished dollhouse because I finished it. That day I vlogged, I think it was Saturday. I actually did it during the day. No, I did go to bed at half one. To be able to finish it but I finished it and this is the finished result so there's the bedroom with the desk corner the bathroom which is a very conventional bathroom with no door and the glass things and a uh, little uh, living room area and the kitchen and there's also a little garden Oop, area here and there are two fun things about it one is this Ta-da! all the lights light up and the other one hold on I'll try and find it Come. Oh, yeah let's make music oh, wait, huh? wait, where are the children Alfie is asking where are the children and means the people to play in this house. This is not a house for playing. And Eiko, who is very curious about it now, she is getting her surgery today with where I'm going now. She can hear the music and she's looking everywhere where it is. Eiko? Owen. Owen is upstairs. He's going to come to school with you. James has a physio appointment this morning at half nine, so he's going to bring the boys to school first and then go there. In the meantime, I can go to bring a call, which needs to be there between 9 and 10. So then she's there early and I still get a break <laughs> to do stuff. So I'm going to head over now. She hasn't eaten since 7 o'clock last night. And she's been desperately looking for food, everything, licking every potential area that could be food. Uh, so the earlier she gets there and they start the surgery and she's asleep, the least she will be wanting food for now. But it's going to be a hard thing to put her in the carrier I think but anyway I'm off to bring her there now so I'm back from bringing Eiko and I do realize that I feel like I left my child to have surgery I just felt not guilty but you know that nervous like stom when your stomach is going ee, I'm nervous um, because I had to sign the consent form obviously to say that uh, I knew the risk of the surgery that the surgery itself it's just the, it's just you know standard risk that I would have signed for myself or for my children anyway because i know that there are just risks associated with anesthetics and surgery but they are not super high risk she's a healthy kitten she's the right weight she's exactly the way she needed to be for the surgery we kind of estimated when she should be that weight because she's smaller uh, but um she's now six almost six months and two she needed to be 2.2 kilos and she was like 2.21 or something like that so the timing was good um and um, I went to Tesco after that to get, I needed to get some water and I needed to get some cat food because in the last delivery uh, they had no more kitten food so they delivered me instead some cat food which is she's too young to eat so uh, I'm going to order the shopping in the next couple of, like today for the next couple of days but in case there was none left I wanted to make sure I had some, she eats the Tesco, she just eats the Tesco's kitten dry food which is one pound a bag, which is very affordable, and she likes, so it's perfect. And they have only two, pa two bags left, and I only have one bag that's already started, so I wanted to have some for sure. A few other things I got, got myself. 
some fruit which is packaged and I hate that but couldn't get any pink ladies not packaged we're all not all gone and if I buy pears that are not packaged they are completely green and take weeks to get ripe and I want some for I want some now actually so uh, then I got two cards for coming birthdays that are coming up and I got these two storage baskets they are reduced in Tesco's at the moment I need I took one for I, ha I have um, like a bathroom cupboard which with shelves and it's a bit it's very messy because I can't find anything and all that and things like the stuff I use on a daily basis like my basic makeup which I don't really use on a daily basis but you know I want to all that and my skincare like I use every day I want to have in there so I can just have everything in that basket a bit like Mrs. Hinch in her daily cleaning basket this is my daily cleaning basket <laughs> and the other one is for my um, chest of, on top of my chest of drawer in the bedroom I have made it into like a kind of dressing table which is gathering clutter at the moment and I need to clear out but I want to have one to put like hair accessories, brushes and stuff like that in so they are neat and tidy and I can have a clear space on top and just have this basket out. You get you get the idea. Another thing I bought are these. I never buy them for Christmas. I always buy them in the sale after. The boys love them. I like the handy thing where you can reseal that so you can just give them a small portion and then all that. If we're on the go we can fill a tiny lunchbox bring it with us so I bought two of them they are down to a pound now and one thing I wanted to get are little plants so I got these two pots for Christmas for which I want to plant something that needs to be watered because it's hard to find little pots that have a hole and a saucer like this so these I'm going to put little flowers I haven't figured out what just yet but I would like to have loads of little plants here and I saw these and I thought the design on them is really nice they were two pounds each so I got four. I might get more or I might get more another set of those pots to like kind of alternate them uh, to have like a full window ledge of plants. Now because it's going to get colder at some point hopefully I don't know probably will have to move the succulents to a warmer place of the house for the winter but uh, come springtime I will be getting my, back into my planting and gardening and all that so I will have a very lovely plant and then plant a very lovely window ledge this thing I am assuming might be a flower bud and I would love it to be otherwise it's another one of those I don't know but I like the idea that there's a baby on top so that's my little shopping haul of the day back from picking up here now I'm just gonna make a quiche with i'm trying to use up the stuff we have in the fridge we have some leftovers so i'm going to plan the next couple of days of meals with leftovers also going to make a quiche uh not for today probably tomorrow so then it's ready and i just have to reheat it and it's convenient and it's ready made then good morning it is i have no idea what day it is tuesday i'm completely lost in the days it is tuesday the 8th that's it uh, so yesterday, as you know, Eiko had her surgery. Where is she? She's here, so she's looking a bit weird. What's going on in here? I tried to help him with the remote, but he didn't do anything. Well, if he wants to do it himself, let him do it himself. And if he can't do it, tough. So, Eiko, you're hiding what I want to show. So she has a... Her side is shaved basically, there's a small wound and she wasn't really great yesterday when we picked her up but she's now, she uh, has a slight limp but she is back to her normal self really apart from that. It's good and we had lunch there. The post lady at the end of the street, and I'm desperately, desperately waiting for Alfie's proposed special needs statement to know what we're doing next year because I need to sign up for schools and stuff. And we are in a massive blur. They've changed the system on how to, to enroll for schools, 
and they don't know what I'm meant to do so I'll go I'll make probably a completely separate video about the whole process for now though I'm going to tackle this so <clears throat> the utility room is always really cluttered there's a lot of stuff I need to give away uh, this is our medicine cupboard those two shelves but there's not enough room and we end up having loads sticking out the top shelf up there there's a lot of stuff that needs to either be thrown out or moved to another place and all here we have the lunch boxes here we have lunch boxes in the middle then spare uh, plugs and um, shoe stuff, uh, batteries, fuses and all that which has nothing to do there and there we have a mix of like party stuff um, more lunch boxes and all that so I'm going to reorganize this declutter the stuff that we don't need anymore just it's more organized and uh, we have more room we always run out of room for these and we run out of room for that so I'm going to do a thing which is all lunch boxes which I'm probably going to put at the end then this is going to be all the medicine cabinet and this is going to be everything else but I'm going to organize the shelves by categories so it's more organized and I'll show you at the end what it looks like great we have a power cut in the area that's brilliant because my washing machine is currently on I'm hoping it doesn't last too long I'm glad now that I have made lunch before that we had lunch quite early and I'm glad now we did Oh, this is so annoying. All the alarms in the area are going off this high, and it's not just my house. Because many houses, when the power cuts off, the, ar the alarms go on. <sighs> Please come back, power. I hate this. I also have no mobile phone signal, which is amazing. I think whenever the power cuts off, the um, antenna that is in the area that relays the signal to me just goes off therefore I get no signal this is great this is brilliant because I need to phone James right now and I have no way to do so no service and my house phone is needs the electricity to work so that's just great I can't even phone the electricity people to tell them we have no power all of them know online because I have no internet access of any kind anyway I'm going to continue my my starting out and hope for the best i think i have that to do alfie has his tablet which is fully charged and can work without the internet so that's good ah i hope it comes like it's going to be a long day otherwise a really long day one thing i've just figured out i'm so blurry come on no everything is everything is falling apart <laughs> what is happening right now come on technology work with me come on you can do this yes i'm back <laughs> no i'm not i don't know anyway see those little baskets i got if there we go um now they could do with a bit more space but if i put them slightly to on top they can still sit almost flat each and i can fit three when there at the moment <clears throat> we have no i know this looks messy but it's actually organized in the basket we have two boxes except that these one they have a thing sticking out so you can't fully close the door these ones are fully in so i could close the doors and i could have more baskets because i could have three instead of two and they're half price in tesco's at the moment so i could technically have replaced those by this these i need to work out so if i have i already have three there if i get six there and nine there that's 15 at 175 each I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my calculator because at least I can do that. I'm so annoyed right now. But if you know what, if I get nothing else, I'm actually gonna go to Tesco's with Alfie and um, buy some 15 times 175. 41.25, that's a bit expensive. Hold on, why is it 40 pounds? That doesn't make sense. What did I do? Hold on. Hold on, 15 times 175 26.25 this what did i do um uh, so yeah no that's that's affordable i think i might do that because it will look better if i have three and um, what i might do is that i might do three and three three and three and they have also on top just leave the shelves um 
with the boxes and stuff and then use these for the paper towels and all in here yes so i need 12 in total so i need to buy nine we're gonna get there don't worry we're gonna get there that's 15.75 that's pretty good for reorganizing all my covers in a room i think that's that's a decent amount so this is what's gonna happen because it needs to reorganize why is Alfie asking? Alfie's asking, keeps asking for daddy all the time. Anyway, I think what I'm gonna do, we can't do much here. I'm gonna distract Alfie by going to Tesco's, buying those, and coming back. And hopefully, near there, I have some signal and I can send James a message or let him know I cannot be contacted so he knows that I'm gonna work something out. Victory! We have baskets. We have an Alfie. Um, Still no power, but I was able, I had signal on my phone at Tesco, so I was able to phone James to let him know. We've been home for a while and we have electricity again. One of the boys from secondary school was home, they were sent home early, and his mommy wasn't uh, home because she didn't expect it to be home, and he was locked out, so he came to our house for a wee bit. And it's just away, so I'm gonna continue my sorting and I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. So here we have, the covers with all the um, like food container and some upstairs these are upstairs up there these are the one I'm used for, using for freezing and all that there's some bento boxes some onigiri Japanese cooking stuff and a few bottles and a few jar, like jars glass containers and then here which is so much neater so up here we have <coughs> some lunch boxes these are the um, hair cutting stuff. This is a shoe, th like a uh, thing to expand shoes. And I have the boxes of some baking stuff. This is all DIY. This is all shoe related, so like shoe polish, measuring thing, and all that. This is batteries, light bulbs, and fuses, paper towels, uh, plastic um cups and these are plates and i also have like um tablecloth like disposable stuff so this is like the party stuff so at least see there for parties i bought again some plain stuff when i had all these and i didn't know that same with the, cu the cups so next time we have a party i know exactly what we have and this is what i still need to do i have just finished this and i feel so satisfied right now so the medicine i have sorted by the following categories these are all painkillers so there is like painkillers tablets uh, heat packs thermometers anything to do with fever and pain this is all digestive tract stuff this is all cold stuff this is kind of ear nose look a bit of everything else mouth like ulcers and stuff like that this is all first aid stuff and this is all like herbal remedies and vitamins and stuff like that and up here i have this has more um of the, of the digestive stuff because they are tablets like this is just an example this is an antispasmodic i use a lot which is available in france and this is my lifesaver for pain pain and for really horrible belly pain and i can't find it here i can't find an equivalent so when i go to france this happens <laughs> And then I have some until the next trip and very often I need to ask my mom to send me some more. Uh, it saves my life. Um, this is a first aid kit. These are contention bandages that I had for surgeries but because contention socks don't compress my legs everywhere, if I get them a certain size and are too tight another size, they had used that for one of my surgeries and I've kept them because I've needed them for a second surgery after. These are big boxes that we need to have there that don't fit everywhere else and that's it and there's i show you that and this that and the magic is now all the doors close properly and everything is organized now i need to sort out this stuff at the top and all that but that will be in for another day hello it's now wednesday and i'm this wednesday because once wednesday is done we are on the other side of the hill down to the weekend um today i'm not going to vlog i'm actually probably not going to vlog next couple of days and I'm just going to end this, this vlog here um, I am basically feeling quite anxious the appointment as she has on Wednesday, on Friday is called an ADOS assessment it's basically an assessment to uh, 
it's supposed to be diagnosed and diagnosis for autism. Now, we've already been told he had autism based on everything else. But to be able to have access to help and all that, he needs to have this test. But if he doesn't show enough signs in that test, things might be delayed again. <laughs> I am briefly going to tell you what situation I am in now. Self-employed. Uh, I cannot get any forms of benefits for Alfie because um, we don't have a diagnosis on paper. We only have a verbal diagnosis. To be able to claim anything like DLA or anything like that, we need to have everything on paper to be able to prove that he has that. So we need this to happen. Uh, I used to work 40 hours a week as a self-employed person because of them going to play group school, etc. The situation I'm in at the moment is that Alfie cannot, can only go to school for two hours. So I cannot work enough and when I don't work I don't get paid <laughs> because I'm self-employed so I'm found in a situation where financially, I mean, thank God James has a job <laughs> and thank God, you know, we have his salary. But uh, things are tight, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, I am technically taking care of him more than I'm working. So the idea would be to become officially his carer. Uh, I cannot do that until unless unless this thing has happened. And the problem is that if they are delaying things and saying, oh, we don't have enough, we need to wait another six months to reassess him, that's another six months where it's going to be very tough for me. So uh, I'm in a bit of a situation where it's completely, I, I don't know how we would cope with this if I was employed by somebody because I would, I mean, I don't know how. It's <laughs> just like I'm, I'm lucky I was able to to do that for my child, but it's just, I don't know how people who are employed elsewhere do it. Uh, so I'm very nervous about this appointment. It's making my anxiety go through the roof. Um, but I'm hoping that on Friday we have, finally have an official, assess, an official diagnosis written down on paper, so it's official for everybody, not just us and uh, that I can get things going for the rest so then I don't have that pressure on me and I can fully accept this role of being his carer and I would continue to work obviously on the side but I'm allowed to earn up to a certain level a week which I'm not earning anyway so um, you know, I can combine the two and this way it would make things a lot easily and I would feel a lot more accepting of the fact that I can't work my full hours in a way because it would technically be like I have two jobs. I'm a carer and I'm also a businesswoman basically. So um, yeah, I just don't want to pretend on camera. So for the next couple of days, I'm just gonna take a break and I'm gonna jot down. I want to make a video about autism for everybody in our family and what it means to them. And I might actually work on that because I think it might be a good time to do it, to start, a, to start it anyway. And then I'll do regular updates on the progress from there. So yes, anyway, I'm gonna go. I'll finish this vlog now. I hope you enjoyed it. I have no idea what's on it because I can't remember what I vlogged. But I'll see you in a couple of days.